baby. No. Please. Help. No. Fuck. photo that's her favorite photo and my favorite of her god a beautiful smile how did i get so lucky that she actually said yes oh, i'll have to pick up a new frame on my lunch break tomorrow i can't risk this photo being damaged it's way too special Hey, baby, I got a new frame for your favorite picture from our wedding. I know the other was special, and I'm so sorry I broke it. I hope you forgive me. It's one of my favorite pictures of you, too. God, you were so beautiful that day. We had our entire lives ahead of us, didn't we? <laughs> oh, we thought we did. I just... I just wish you would have talked to me, love. Told me what you were feeling. Told me how bad it had gotten. <sighs> I feel sick. Knowing you were hurting so much, I had no idea. Finding you like that. It was the worst moment of my life. But even worse was knowing that you'd taken your last breath all alone. I hadn't been there, not just to stop you from leaving me, but to have been there to hold you. Your last moment. How do I live with that? How could you make me live with that for the rest of my life? Damn it! Sometimes I hate you as much as I love you. I hate you for leaving me. I hate you for giving up. I hate you for breaking and crushing my goddamn heart into dust. I love you so much. It hurts. It hurts because I wasn't enough to save you. It hurts because I'll never get to see your face. Stare into your gorgeous eyes. Hear your sweet voice. Kiss your soft lips. I'll make love to you late into the night and hold you while you sleep safe in my arms where I can feel and hear your precious heart beating against mine. You took that from me. Because I love you so much, I hate you for that too. I know life was hard sometimes. I know you were hurting and scared. But I would have stood with you to the end of my days, doing everything in my power to, to have found a way to ease that pain as much as humanly possible. Oh, God. Fuck. 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 
fuck? Don't give me anything. If I could have carried that burden for you, my love, I truly believe we would have found answers one day. If you had just waited, held on a little longer. I know you felt like a burden to me. But baby, you were what made my life worth living. Every breath I took was for you. I love you with all my heart. And I would have happily carried you forever. You were never a burden. Uh-uh. No. no. You were the balm to my weary soul. The light in my own darkness. Ash told me that you called her the day before you left us. That you confided in her that the pain had gotten worse. She didn't want me to know that the medication wasn't working. She said you were shaking from the pain. She feels like she let you down by not telling me. She blames herself. Did you not think what you were leaving behind when you chose to leave? The path of destruction left by your death is massive. It's like a hurricane swept through and stole you away from us, leaving our bodies and souls torn apart in its wake. Your parents... Your friends, our friends, my parents, all the rest of our family, me. Hell, even the neighbors were crying when they heard you were gone. (laughs) Did you not realize how many people truly love you? Blind to it all, too numb from the pain and the medication to feel it. Even Jacob misses you. He lays by your side of the bed, whining, thumping his tail, like he thinks I've hidden you somewhere, and I'll return you if he begs me hard enough. We need you, my love. We are all completely and hopelessly lost without you. You weren't just my own angel. You were everyone's. You were the light. And we're all stumbling around in this darkness now that you are gone. How do we keep going without you? I barely function now. Every evening I get in my car and I drive for an hour across the Mississippi River Bridge. I know exactly what time to leave the house so that the sun is setting right as I cross and I watch it as I drive, imagining you there with me. I know how much you love to watch the sun rise and set. You always said you only get so many of those in your lifetime. And no two were ever the same. So you had to watch as many as you could. Now, I watch them alone. And as I drive an hour one way and another hour back, I blare my music as loud as I can stand. Just so I can feel something other than the pain in my soul. 
and I let the tears fall because by then it's dark and no one can see me inside the car. And then I go home to a cold, dark, empty house to a dog who barely knows how to be a dog anymore since his favorite person has left him behind. And I let him sleep in the bed with me just so I'm not alone. No matter what I do, how far I drive, I can never find my way back to you. Back to us. Back to our life. And every night, as I close my eyes, I wonder why I fight to do it all another day. There's no life without you, baby. You are my heart. And when you left, you took it with you. My chest is silent. There's no rhythm left to beat. It's like a tomb. But why do I fight? (sighs) Because you told me to. I do it for you. Because one day, when this life of mine is over, I will get to hold you in my arms once more and tell you all the things I did and saw. I will live for you. My life has always been and forever will be yours, my love, my angel, my heart. So for you, I will keep fighting, even if I wasn't strong enough to keep you here, to live this life by my side. You'll live it in my heart. My days, every breath, every sunrise, every sunset, they're yours. I guess it's time for me to go home now. I think I might let Jacob ride in the car with me tonight. He would enjoy a car ride. And I'll put your picture in the new frame on my bedside table, where it belongs. So I can see your beautiful smiling face every morning when I wake up. I miss you, baby. I love you, to the moon, around the stars, dancing around Saturn's rings and all the way back again. Always and forever. I love you.